Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of an exciting new service called Readly that you can use to create reading assignments for your students to complete online, and you can see how well they did on the reading. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this service works. First of all, you'll find it at readly.com, and there is a free version and a premium version. In this demo, we're gonna look at just the features of the free version, and here we are in my account. And here I'm in my class, my list of classes, and there's my class right there. You can see my little class code, and there's a little invite link that I can give to my students to join in. And I want to create a new assignment for my class. Now, let's say I'm teaching a history class, which is something I did for many years, and I want my students to read something from the Avalon Project. I want them to read Hamilton's opinion as to the constitutionality of the Bank of the United States, 1791. That's quite the title. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this option for web URL. I'm going to paste that in. We'll save that, and we'll see that it's now imported the title and the link. And now I'm going to select the text that I want my students to read. So I'm just going to copy that text. And I could copy it all, or I could copy part of it. Let's say I'm just going to copy this part here. I'm going to stop right here before it gets to another argument. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to paste it in here. So now we have that text in here. And the source URL is over here. And now let's go ahead and hit next. And we'll put in the author of this, which as you might expect is Alexander Hamilton. So let's put that in there. Now let's hit that next button again. And on this next page, we'll have the option to add some more specific directions for our students. We're going to say, I want you to read the full text here. I could choose select text and highlight just the part I want them to read. But here, I'm gonna say full text. Let's save that task. And I can add some instructions and say, Please read this aloud to the best of your ability. We will discuss it in class next week. Now let's hit save. So those are my instructions. You can see here, I have a task of read aloud. I could add an additional task of a comprehension question or model reading if I want to, but I'm gonna cancel that and just do the read aloud for now. And let's finish that. And now I'm going to assign that to everyone in my class. Let's go ahead and cl click close on that. And now we can see here's the assignment and my one student who's in the class has not started the assignment yet. So now, we're gonna take a look at the student side of this. So here's the student side of Readly. And my student Mason here is signed into the class and he joined with the class code and the class link that I gave him. Let's go ahead and he'll see here, this assignment has an estimate of 35 minutes. I should point out, that a different student might have a slightly different estimate based on their history in Readly. So let's go ahead and click on that as a student. The student is going to be asked to turn on the microphone. Let's turn that on right here. And we'll see a recording started and they'll just start reading. The Secretary of the Treasury having perused with attention the papers containing the opinions of the Secretary of State and Attorney General 
concerning the constitutionality of the bill for establishing a national bank proceeds according to the order of the president to submit the reasons which have induced him to entertain a different opinion. Now I can pause that. And your students are probably going to want to pause it if you've given them a long piece of text to read. Because they might want to do what I just did and take a sip of their seltzer or their coffee or soda pop or whatever your students have on their desk. And then resume the recording. It will naturally have been anticipated that in performing this task, he will feel uncommon solicitude, personal considerations alone arising from the reflection that measure originated with him would be sufficient to produce it. Pause it again. And let's just say for the sake of this demo that they're ready to turn it in. So now they've turned in the assignment and we can see this history here of time read, speed, total words, and unique words. And that's a running tally. And we can look at previous submissions. Right there. So there's some previous submissions as well. Let's go back into incomplete and we'll see there's nothing incomplete right now. Now let's go back to the teacher side and see what the teacher sees. So the teacher will see here that Mason has submitted it and really he hasn't read much of it at all. It's 0%. And that's because I haven't given quite enough time yet for the whole assignment to be processed. We'll see this recording is being processed and when it's processed, there it is. Now we see total time, 43 seconds, words read aloud, 99, unique words read, 72, speed, 119, completion, 2%. So now it's updated. And we can see here, here's a transcription. We can turn that on or off. We can see here the words that the student has not read. And so after I've reviewed it, I can go back here and I can look at all of the assignments from the class and everything that's been submitted so far. Now I wanna point out a couple of other features of Readly, specifically Readly assignments. In my blog post about Readly, I mentioned a library and I'm gonna open that up right here. This is a library of books, poems, and other articles that you can import when creating an assignment. And to do that, let's create a new assignment and we'll select the option here from the content library. Let's search for a name. Let's say I want to do Shakespeare. And we'll just choose Macbeth because it's at the top. So that next button and Obviously, Macbeth is quite long, so we're going to select specific pages in here. Maybe I want them to read just page 10 and page 12, and I can assign just page 10 and 12 for the students to read out of Macbeth. I'm going to cancel that one. I don't want to actually give them Macbeth to read right now. And I'll also point out that you can do an independent reading assignment, and that's going to look like this. I'll select this option here for independent reading. I'll click next, and I might say it's independent reading, independent reading for March. And let's hit that next button. And let's give some instructions. So please read five pages from your March independent reading book. And we'll hit that save button and we'll finish and review. And I'm going to assign that to the whole class. I should point out here that you can create different assignments for different students. So if I want to have one student read five pages out of 
their independent reading book and another student read three out of her or his independent book, I could create different assignments and give them to different students. And so that's how I can create that independent reading assignment. So that's an overview of how Readly works from a teacher and student perspective. I'm really excited about it. I think it could be a great tool for learning how your students are reading. For more information about Readly, click the link that's in the description of this video or just head to readly.com. And as always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel